afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another propaganda cast, another Unity of Command Black Turn episode. All to the last one. There won't be anything after this, since we'll know more, and I sort of also need to spend some time sorting out some other things before we can sort of perhaps take up another game besides Company of Heroes 2, so keep that in mind. There'll be a brief sort of small period there with nothing going on any the other days. But otherwise it's going to be the last mission, going to be a challenging one, the weather's bad. There's rivers, there's a large amount of search with the serves, and they will actually be attacking for once, which also means I sort of have to shore up the defences along here, since that's where a lot of the gaps are. It also means my attacks will be met with a lot of uh, resistance. Again, partly also with a lot less success, due to, again, the fact that there will be, well, you know, snow and ice and whatnot. I will also be f equipped with a few Slovakian and Italian units. The Italians will be certainly only really utilised on the defensive since they're not really good otherwise and I think that's going to be across the river line so they actually have a chance of surviving otherwise they're pretty much screwed over. So there are in fact many challenges whilst my Panzer Division can't handle much nor my motorized nor my SS and my Soviet opponent for once actually has air support so that would also pose a problem for me so this is overall quite the challenging mission and will be to a certain extent a bit reliant on luck for my air force rolls because I'm going to need to breach through here right away otherwise I mean I'm going to be bogged down and unable to push through so that can be a bit of a problem but let's get to it ladies and gentlemen and let's even get a good roll with the Luftwaffe well I suppose that counts for something Achtung there we go a bit of damage dealt I'm going to follow up with an infantry division or motorized division assault. There we go, there we go. Oh crap. Phew. That was about to go very, very wrong. That's sure enough for the Panzer Division to make some kind of godly charge in the name of Deutschland. to make a push towards Ostov and cutting off the bridge there more specifically initially and also hopefully dealing some damage to the units holding up around here my wire is going to be shifting units up here cover up the river front line which is going to be important usually mostly the less impressive Italians which pretty much can only hold currently by sticking to the river otherwise they are pretty much doomed which of course is tragic and there's certainly not much I can do about that while turning those into replacements and charging these up as quickly as possible also we'll be attaching a few pioneer here for a bit of extra punch and some Armored reconnaissance for the additional bits, so I have a slightly ch larger chance of actually breaking through here and there. Massive Russian reserves moving into action. That, alongside this rubbish weather, is pretty much the primary challenges of this mission, which pretty much means any progress quickly boxed down, it rather becomes very, very difficult to keep up the momentum. And also means to a certain extent you're a bit dependent on just lucky dice rolls, which I suppose this in some regards makes this the hardest mission, but also in some regards the weakest in terms of them actually being enjoyable. Since again, you're rather reliant on things just, you know, randomly going your way rather than, you know, tactics or strategy. Which is a bit unfortunate if um, you never know if Fixama like, Lufta or so there's salt there does anything serious or for that matter your two Luftwaffe assaults actually doing anything at all. And there's a lot of these little factors in it which can easily change the outcome of this battle or even make what might have been a good strategy, you know, suddenly turn oh dear on his head upside down because of something completely out of your control, which is a bit unfortunate. To put it mildly. If I sort of had to state something I was perhaps somewhat dissatisfied with. But at least now I can add in some replacements here and there. 
strengthening up all of my motorized units as much as possible. up positions there. I need to clear up that one division and that would actually allow me to sort of stabilize the front line without having to worry about someone scurrying about behind. I'd also want to clear up those beans up front. So there are a few challenges there. Let's call in the Luftwaffe. I hope the Luftwaffe does something. There we go. That should hopefully count as something and overall allow me to actually make some slight progress for that. Motorized moving up there. I need to cover up there. Hopefully I won't have to shift something back here and double back to sort of cover things up there. We'll have to see. So far looking reasonably alright. Either way, I've managed to clear out anything there, which allow me to focus on just pushing forwards, which is a start. Now I need to see if I can't take Kamensk as quickly as possible, thus cutting off the supplies from that angle. Which would overall be pretty jolly nice. In particular, if I can then sort of keep the Slovakians running up, then cutting off the supplies all the way, that would in fact be a nice little move. As well. So let's see how this progresses overall. End turn for Deutschland. But the Italians were never strong on the defensive. Apparently, from what my readings overall have taught me on the old situation, the Italians were never good on the concept that's called security. That is, you know, actually keeping an eye out for the enemy. In that regard, they had a tendency of quickly getting overwhelmed and surprised. Which in several cases led to some rather singing defeats. And that, they also ran with a slightly curious system of activating binary regiments, I believe. Or was it the company? I can't remember, but there was something about it which actually meant so overall, in some regards, the infantry divisions were also just overall weaker. Division there about to get worn down, that is not good. One, ooh, shattered absolutely, completely beyond any shadow of doubt. And an assault there, suppressing half the Panzer Division. Slovakians getting hammered there, forced to pull back. Infantry Division there shattered. Russian slow advancing, need to pull that remaining one across the river and form up a defensive line. Schnell, if anything. If there is soon anything to pull back, for that matter, across the river. But there we go. Just in time. Quickly calling in some air support on this. Fiend of Fiends. This A bit of damage here. Go, just back in seeing a position there. Unit there shattered. Another destroyed. Crap, need to force them back somehow. Otherwise, I need to pull back the Panzer Vision there just a wee bit to ensure he doesn't sneak in there and does something. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind, I'd rather cock that up one myself. Still, as long as they don't breach somehow, I should be alright. But now there's a lot of defensive, but of course the main problem now is while I have a reason to sort of stable front line, I absolutely no reserve track to throw in, in case something goes wrong. 
which, as I'm sure you can tell, is a bit of a problem. So let's see what happens next. They're currently over here, they're rather depleted, of course, they're rushing a lot from the main reserve up here. My main worry though is in fact they'll breach through here and that will force me to shift something away from here to deal with it because currently I cannot really afford any kind of breach. But so far they just seem intent on just shifting things about. Oh there we go. Bad news all around. In there, suppresses half again. That's not good. That could easily mean a crossing if I'm not careful. I might have to shift something away from here, sort of that way, and sort of covering up things and hope they don't breach through there, which should be possible. They don't seem so interesting pushing up towards here since overall they want this bit since that's what really controls the supplies towards here. If they cut off this there's still going to be supplies coming in if I'm... How on earth am I supposed to pronounce that? That's not fair. Then again, Eastern Europe was never fair. Something like that. But so far again we've seen just a massive pooling of troops down there towards Rostov. There we go. The situation has been moderately saved. Somehow. Sort towards this. That's more than we did the trick. I've only had something I can put in there that I don't really. Because otherwise, in that case, I could actually go a bit wild and sort of just charge madly towards here. I will. In fact, I can, that's just about what I can afford, since again, I'm overall very, very, very short on reserves of anything. I can't really, you know, just say, oh, well, I'll just, you know, ignore that bit. Not without risking a complete collapse here. I might be able to sort of extract those units here, but that's about it, really. But then that's going to further increase the pressure on here, in particular since, in terms of terrain, this... These rather do hold up some valuable bits, and in... Otherwise, I'm sure these two again don't get attacked from things where they can't quite hold up. Oh, it's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous work. Supplying that. Though then again, I might be able to clear out those, which again should then allow me to sort of shift the front line up towards there with one hell of a good panzer push. That's going to be one hell of one. Otherwise, this is all gone. So things are definitely a bit in the balance, and I'm swinging a bit wild here. Let's see if we can keep going. Oh, I should have... No, we don't have any forces anyways, never mind. Now they're of course trying to bog down the SS division. Unsurprisingly, and again we're just seeing all of their reserves being shifted over there, away from the assault. Well, of course they're still trying to breach here and there, but overall the attacks are lessening down which I suppose is a bit to my advantage oh dear that's not good that's going to be a massive loss in offensive firepower there for that Panzer Division Push ahead, nonetheless, for glory. Let's 
such matters. Let's see if I can't get the Luftwaffe to... well, maybe not. Becoming a bit too dangerous for my liking, but there we go. Secured for Germany. Just the way we like it. There we go, destroyed. I'm going to shift down the Jaeger there and I'm somehow going to sort this out and I'm once more going to fly this to keep things going a bit I'm going to reinforce these gentlemen front Line still holding, still, still, just barely though. So let's end the turn. Hopefully, the Russians won't break through. There we go, cutting off the supply lines as predicted. At least now they can't make an easy push at Rostov, which is rather what I was trying to avoid, of course. The Diego, of course, will need supplies as well now. At least I need to quickly sort things out that way. Oh dear. But at least the pressure's overall waving away from the Westerns again. There's barely anything there to push with. Now they're just ensuring I don't push back. So again, it's all going to be now really down on the Eastern units. Which is where things still get a bit dangerous. Oof, that was close, the Jaegers held out. There we go, shatting a few more units. Another air assault. Leaving a bit there out of supply. For now, I need to quickly clear that out, otherwise, that's not going to last forever. Oh, do I need to supply that? Oh, dear, that was not good either. This kind of weather, what can you expect? Oh, I forgot the air support as usual. A bit tricky to remember, and in particular, since again, it's rather limited in overall effectiveness. You can very easily end up at oh, great, that did nothing. Good job, Herman. But, mm, might just work here. Slight preparation for an assault by the Kibiox Jäger, but no, that's not going to work out very well, I think. Sadly. Oh well, might as well push in for an attack there. Don't really have much other choices up by now. I need to sort of increase the pressure elsewhere somehow before it's too late. Oh well, let's end the turn, see what happens next. There we go, one cavalry division wiped out. Many units just tentatively holding on. Russian units all beginning to suffer a bit of supply issues, though not greatly, sadly. 
slowly beginning to drain away from the west, in fact. Looks like the Italian motorized might soon be giving up the ghost. And there we go, the Gibiuxi, as soon as they stopped being entrenched, suddenly became a very tempting target for the Soviets. Though not without some props to them either. So I suppose there's that in my favour. And oh dear. Thankfully, none of the Soviet units have really any capability of attacking. So I suppose that counts in my favour. Albeit, very little in my favour. There we go, some minor successes. Last bit of supplies here, so I definitely need to sort something out again. Still beginning to look like something. Oh, bollocks. There we go, another unit destroyed. That's definitely going to put some pressure on them. Which is rather what one was looking for. And just going to pop in some air support here. Thus rendering whatever little attack that was possible there with that cavalry division not happening. shifting that way and hopefully nothing bad will happen in that direction. Again, I can sort of sacrifice a north a bit then compared to right around here, so overall this is what matters. This matters a bit, but you know, not as much. Again, sort of give some leeway here. Overall, if we can trade for something over here. So let's see if we can keep this up and win this. It's only beginning to look like that. I've actually managed to ward, wear down this, you know, previously massive Soviet force. But, you know, clearly not out of the woods yet. And I'm rather nervous about this. Air attack there on the... Oh, they actually got part of it. There we go, though. Thing is opening up again. I might just be able to pull out a victory of this. Though definitely not a brilliant one. Not likely. Anyways. can just hold out these two points for another one. I should be able to take this one by the next turn. Which is rather what I'm overall looking for, I think. Some units that are sort of really capable of fighting anymore over there, which haven't really been expent. Oh dear, that's not good. Could leave them open, but then again, leaves one threat less. Let's hope I just didn't throw away my victory at the end here. In turn, and turn, and 
Pray to the fatherland. Pray to the fatherland. Jaegers wiped out. Expect it, but still there'll be some sort of cordon here. Suppressed. Looks like they're actually pulling away from the SS unit. And they're worried now about the last point there. But wish you love God. I might do it. Yes, yes. Definitely the toughest mission in the game. By a long shot. But now. Finally. Victory! Ha ha ha! Ooh, even a decisive one. Ha ha ha! Nice. Ha 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 ha! And there we go, that was Unity of Command Black Turn. This mission, though, was definitely a teeth grinder. I mean, overall, a good game, a splendid campaign, but again, this one, though, I must admit, I'm not such a huge fan of. Again, partly because it feels a bit more reliant on, you know, dice rolls than anything else, but, you know, roll still pretty fun, and your roll still, you know, great with the victory in the end, though, rather close. Rather close. So there you go, hope you got some ideas and hopefully if you were stacking this mission you might have some ideas on how to pull this one off yourself now. I sincerely hope so. And if you enjoyed this, you know, so this game's look great, you know, get it on YouTube Command.net or Steam. Remember this is DLC, so you know there's something to get otherwise afterwards. But I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you were inspired and of course there'll be a brief pause after this since well after this, of course, I need to get to work some other stuff, so I know I might do Unity of Command Red Turn once that is over. I might do another game. Who knows? We'll find out. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.